So someone who's become Muslim, they're a new Muslim, they want to go down the path of knowledge. Where should they start? Lots of people, they say different things. I mean, I've heard lots of different things. People say stuff to me. Um, where, where should someone start when they're going down that path to maybe even uh, become a scholar one day, inshallah, as well? The first thing that every Muslim must learn, yeah. not just uh, a student of knowledge, every Muslim must learn is how to worship Allah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that means how to, how to purify oneself, how to pray, uh, how to fast. Mm -hmm. I want to say how to fast. How to fast is quite easy, but what the invalidators of fast are. Mm -hmm. And also when fast begins and when, uh, when you open your fast and when you close it. Um, because your, your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is primary and foremost. Yeah. Uh, so you must know how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, that's number one. To add to that, actually, and in accordance with any of the approved legal schools of thought in Islam, whether you study one madhab, one school of thought for your act, for your worship, for your ibadah, uh, and how to perform it, or that you ask different scholars, you ask different scholars, uh, it can be, it can be, sometimes it can be haphazardly. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no deliberate kind of uh, uh, method. You something. Uh, something happens, an event occurs, and then you ask a scholar, and he gives you an answer, then you follow it, without asking what legal school of thought they follow, mm. without asking what their delegate is, what their evidence for it, because you're not going to understand the evidence, even if they tell you. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So number one is ibadah, is worship. Mm. Uh, then followed by two things, uh, Quran and Arabic. Mm -hmm. To memorize Quran, and to learn Arabic. Arabic is the key to knowledge, mm. Islamic knowledge, mm. because uh, Islam is the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and understanding them requires, the, requires the, 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 the instrument to unlock their meanings, and that is the Arabic language. So that includes grammar and syntax, and includes balagha as well, which is rhetoric or eloquence. Um, and Quran. Quran is the knowledge. Mm. It's the knowledge. Some people used to say, but you know, it's not compulsory to memorize the Quran. I can, I can, I can, you know, I can learn just the verses that the verses are that uh, in which the legal injunctions are mentioned. Yeah. And then go on to understand them later. But the whole Quran is the knowledge. Yeah. It is the uh, So those two, and then after that to progress in. Uh, to progress in the in the fiqhi studies, the study of uh, jurisprudence, mm -hmm. which is very, very, very important. Yeah. Very important. Number one, your ibadah. Uh, and number two, uh, both the Quran and Arabic. 